Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you all my interview experience at SGM SOM, that is IIT Bombay's MBA department. And I'm going to share with you all what questions were asked to me and what was my experience uh, during this throughout that interview process. So let us start with this video. Now the interview process of uh, SGM SOM is that is IIT Bombay's uh, name of that de MBA department. Uh, so that is conducted on the gather platform. Now this gather platform is pretty interesting because you can actually interact. It's like a virtual, you know, virtual office space or whatever, uh, like interview space or whatever you call that. And you can actually interact with your, uh, you know, with whoever is beside you. So you can control yourself. So uh, if you have used this gather platform, then you'd be knowing like what I'm talking about. So what happens is that in the morning first you have your document verification. So your buddy, whoever is your buddy will be taking you uh, to the document verification room on this gather platform only where your all the documents will get verified and all. And after that, uh, you are going to be taken to the interview panel. So in my interview, uh, I was in the panel number 11 uh, and uh, there were three uh, people in my panel, three faculty, not faculty, there was one faculty member uh, and there were two alumni. So the panel was overall very chill and very friendly. Uh, and uh, so the questions that were asked me, I'm going to share with you all now. So the, it began with uh, the faculty member asking me that uh, introduce yourself. So like that was a prepared answer and I just introduced myself and all. So after that, the first alumni, that is P1, suppose so P1 took over the interview and he asked about like the, what is the meaning of your name? Uh, so I explained the meaning of my name and then the next question was that, is there currently any elections in West Bengal? So yeah, there was the local body uh, municipal elections. So that was probably he was that like, he was asking that probably. And I mentioned that and like he uh, he asked about who won or how many seats and all. So I answered all this. Then he came to like uh, that I'm from the EC background. So he asked me like what is smart grid. Uh, uh, so I wasn't like I did not know about smart grid. So I said that I don't know because uh, I don't know. I would, I've not studied about that before. So he said that, okay, that is 30% uh, electrical, 70% electronic. So I th he thought that I would be knowing about that. But okay, I do not know. So he went on to the next question. I do I play any sports. So I mentioned uh, football, cricket. So then he said that, like, uh, would you be taking up sports as a career? Uh, and then I said that, no, I wouldn't be taking up that as a career. But yes, if someone calls me to play a game of football or cricket, I'd be more than willing enough to go and play with you all. And then he asked me like something. So what was something that... You have not done, but you would love to do more. So I said that I would love to travel and I would love to travel and know about different places. So he asked me again, why would you love to travel? And I uh, said, whatever. And then he asked me, like, have you ever been to the Northeast? So I said that, yes, uh, I've been to uh, Assam, Stilchar. So though he asked me, like, uh, what are the seven sisters, uh, seven sister states? Like, I hope you have been knowing uh, the seven sister states. And uh, then, as I said, I have been to Shilcha, so he asked me, like, how far is the Bangladesh border from the uh, from the city of Shilcha? So I mentioned that, like, I guess it was pretty correct only. And then he asked me about uh, something, some UN related, uh, one question, which state has something to do with UN? I don't exactly remember the question. So the answer was Arunachal Pradesh, and I uh, guessed it correctly because uh, that is the only disputed area in the Northeast uh, region. So this was the question to asked by the first alumni. Then the second alumni took over and he, she uh, asked about what is chicken snake. That is, uh, I hope most of you will be knowing that it is that uh, area around Shiliguri. And then what is the significance of that area? Like why is that called the chicken snake and all? So then he, she went over to some uh, my EC related questions. Like what is microprocessor, the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. And then some questions related to Internet of Things, like what is Internet of Things, what are the some drawbacks and like why would someone use, why would someone, like some in the IoT related questions. I, I was not able to answer some IoT related questions, but I, I did most of them correctly, but okay. And then uh, the, then after that, the professor took over and the, she mostly asked about the current affairs related questions. So the first question was discuss about the nuclear plant captured by Russia. So today, so on the day of my interview on that day, the Russians had, you know, that russia ukraine war was going on. So the, uh, the Russians had captured that nuclear plant, uh, you know, bombed that nuclear plant. So, uh, so the interview asked me to, you know, explain what happened over there and all. And then asked me like, is there any other nuclear plants present in Ukraine? So I said, yes, the Chernobyl nuclear. And so the next question was, when was that Chernobyl disaster in 1986 and what was the effect? So I said that 
I don't exactly remember the effect, but I remember that uh, picture that uh, which was there in almost all books that the red the trees become red and all. So the interviewer said yes, like even she had studied about that. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the next question was: Is there any other nuclear plants? Is there like name some nuclear plants in India? And I named some of them. And like, what is the element which is used? So I said uranium. But she wanted the specific element. Uh, like I guessed uh, uranium two fifty four or something like that. Yeah. Then the next question was, do you read uh, newspaper? And I said, yes, Times of India. So she asked about who is the editor of Times of India. And the Times of India is by which company? That is Bennett Coleman. And from where is the headquarter located? That is Mumbai. And then she went on over to some finance related questions. So the first question was name three economic ind indicators. So I was able to mention only GDP and inflation. And then she asked, what is the difference between GDP and GNP? The, that is... GDP is uh, the value of all products and goods within India and GNP con consists of the values of goods and products including of uh, in non-resident Indians who stay outside India. And then the next question was uh, what, is the, what is real and nominal GDP and what is the purchasing power parity. And then uh, she asked about uh, the CPI that is consumer uh, price index I guess. So these were the questions which were asked to me in the interview and I was uh, able to answer most of them. Overall, the interview was very good, very chill, as I've already mentioned in the beginning. So, thank you guys for watching this video and hope to see you all in the next one.